Hey guys, so one of my goals this semester was to be able to give you more first reads where you experience the first part of books, um, kind of to get you exposed to different genres that maybe you wouldn't have experienced otherwise. And since we've been having all of this crazy weather, I thought I would just do it digitally for you and that way you can still check it out and we're still crushing goals as a group. And so the first one that I have for you is a book called Unbound. And what is different about Unbound is that it's written in verse. So those of you that have books like The Crossover, um, it's very similar to that in the sense that it's written in poem form. And I have two copies of it, actually, so I'll give you a quick glance um, at that. So you can see that, ooh, oh, super fuzzy there. So you can see that it's written in poem form versus like in paragraphs like a traditional book might be. And so books like that, one of the benefits of it being obviously poetry, um, but also they tend to be very quick reads. And so that's kind of nice if you want something that you can get through a little bit faster, um, but still have a really good read on your hands. And so I'm going to go ahead and read the back to you. Oh, by the way, Unbound is written by Annie Burke, and she also wrote all the broken pieces in Seraphina's Promise. Um, and so the back of the cover reads, The day Grace is called from slave cabins to work in the big house. Mama makes her promise to keep her eyes down. Uncle Jim cautions her to keep her thoughts tucked private in her mind, or they could bring a whole lot of trouble and pain. When her voice escapes without warning, it sets off a terrible chain of events that prove Uncle Jim's words true. Suddenly, Grace and her family must run. Deep in a forbidding wilderness, they face deadly animals, paddy rollers, and the uncertainty of ever finding freedom. So, we're going to go ahead and jump right in. And again, the main character's name is Grace, and it is written from her first-person perspective. When Mama tells me I'm going to the big house, she makes me promise to always be good and listen to the misses and never talk back, to lower my eyes and say, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, and to not speak less spoken to first. She tells me about the new dress I'm sure to get, and sweet muffins every morning, she says, pulling the thread from Thomas's old baby gown. I wind the limp thread round a stick, slow and careful so not to break it. I like soft clothes and sweet muffins, but not if it means leaving Mama. Since I was little, Mama's been telling me, you keep those eyes looking up. That's where the good Lord and his angels live. So how come now she's changing her mind? Promise you'll keep your eyes down, she says. I promise. Promise you'll keep your mouth closed. I promise. Promise you won't talk back and promise you'll keep your thoughts in question, but... And suddenly, like a clap of thunder, in a sweet blue sky, all my promising starts feeling like a fistful of thorns is scratching my brain. I promise. I promise. Then, crack. I drop to the dirt floor and crunch into a ball. I won't go, I say. I want to stay with you. Aunt Sarah stands in the cabin doorway. Willie's playing with the hem of her dress, and she's holding Thomas in her arms. Mama shoes him away and kneels down. She tugs me apart and takes me into her arms. I pull away. I won't go, I cry. I won't leave Uncle Jim and his night stories or the sound of his soft singing when he tends our moonlight garden. I won't go. I kick. I won't leave little Thomas and Willie. Aunt Sarah's old. She can sing him when Mama works in the fields, but who will stand over him waving the dried leaf to give him a breeze when they need a nap? Who will play with him and chase him into lump of giggles when they wake? I won't go. I won't go. I pound and thrash, scream and stomp. I won't go. I want to stay with you. And that is the end of the first section of Unbound by Annie Berg.